Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another fragrance review for you guys and I wanted to bring you this perfume from Givenchy. This is Iris Harmonique. Um, this is I believe the 10th one from their Atelier line um, and this one is just the newest one that I've gotten from that particular line of fragrances from Givenchy and I've been wearing it for the past few days and I figured I'd let you guys know what I think. So if you're interested to know my review of this fragrance, keep watching. I got introduced to these fragrances when I actually was at Epcot and I was walking through the pavilion in France. Um, they have a lot of perfumes and cosmetics and a little bit higher end stuff and I always just like walking through there. It's a lot of fun. I've never been to France at all so it's always a lot of fun to walk through there and just kind of pretend like I'm a world traveler when I've never been out of the States. So when I was in the Givenchy area, and I might be pronouncing their name wrong, I'm so bad at names, I noticed that they had bottles of perfume that I hadn't recognized before. Um, and I did a little vacation haul, and I'll link it below, where I purchased one of the perfumes from their private line, which is this one. Um, and I fell in love with it. It's really nice. And so I've been on a quest to get as many of them as I can. So when I learned about Iris Harmonique, I was really intrigued by the notes and the description of this that I just bought it blind because I really wanted to try it out. So I've been wearing it and I wanted to let you guys know what I think. Definitely a ridiculously unisex fragrance, which is something that I really like about it. It's got notes of Iris, Lang Lang, Gayak Wood, Oud, Leather, Amber. Um, I'm going to read you all the notes that are listed just because there's a good amount. Um, so the top notes are Neroli and Angelica Essence. The heart notes is Lang Lang, Immortal Flower, Coconut Wood, Amber, and Leather. And the base notes are Gaiac Wood and Oud. Now what I love about this is this is a definitely a white floral fragrance. You get the beauty of the iris and the Lang Lang. I love the hits of uh, the notes of neroli in this, and the amber just kind of warms it up. But the wood, the specifically the oud and the gayak that I get in this, just makes this fragrance sing, and it sings in a way that is not terribly feminine. It's very sultry, and it's just beautiful. Um, and that's just what I got when I first started wearing this. Um, and as it, I wear it and as it warms up on my skin, I get more of the iris and a lot more of the wood. And I just adore that. Oud is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite notes in any fragrance. If I see Oud, I will buy it. It's kind of like amber or tuberose. I just kind of gravitate towards it. And so that's ultimately what led me to blind by this, and I'm really glad that I did. Upon first application, the initial notes that I get from this are definitely iris and a little bit of Lang Lang and Neroli. And as it warms up on my skin, I start to get the leather, and that usually shows up to the party after about 20 to 25 minutes, um, and it plays really nicely with the floral. And then after about like an hour or two is when the wood starts to really become very prominent and that plays beautifully with the white floral and the leather and the amber and it's just this beautiful marriage of these notes that I just find to be really empowering. The only thing I have to say about this fragrance that I don't like is the fact that it doesn't last long on my skin. Yes, longevity for me with this fragrance is a problem. This only lasts about three hours on my skin before I have to reapply. Now, it's not the hugest deal in the world, but the thing is, is that this to me is a beautiful daytime fragrance. It is very mature, it is very sensual, it is very striking but it is not heavy to where you couldn't wear this in the daytime. This would definitely transition beautifully to daytime and evening. That being said, if I sprayed it on in the early morning or the afternoon, I would have to reapply this if I wanted to wear this all day. Other fragrances that I don't have to do that with that are good for night to, to for daytime to evening, I love. I spray it once at night. It just warms up beautifully. I might reapply if I want to have a lot more power behind my fragrance or if I just like to have that light lingering 
fragrance I can just not reapply this just completely dissipates it disappears after three hours so I do have to reapply this and that is something that I don't like about this fragrance which is sad because this is a beautiful fragrance and I do and I would wear it more often if I knew I could just spray it and go about my day and not have to worry about reapplying it so soon overall I think this is a beautiful fragrance this would be sexy on a man sexy on a woman it's mature it's sensual it's empowering the wood and the leather and the amber in here just play gorgeously with the floral so I can definitely recommend this to everybody any age it's really quite beautiful the only negative thing I have to say about it is again it's the longevity but do understand that's on my skin that might be different for you so I would recommend trying a sample of this because this is one of not it's not an expensive perfume if you think about how much perfumes can go for but this is definitely up there in price so I would definitely recommend trying a sample if longevity is something that will make you buy or not buy a perfume if it's a deal kicker if it doesn't last for a long time but overall I think this is a beautiful perfume and I can't recommend it enough based just on how it smells on my skin again I just wish it lasted longer than three hours it's been about three hours I'm gonna reapply because I like it I like to spray perfume on the back of my neck. I don't like to spray around here. I like to spray it back here. I don't know. Am I the only one? Am I crazy? Thank you for watching this video. I know I've done three fragrance reviews this week. There's just some fragrances I really, really wanted to talk about. So I definitely wanted to um, bring those to you guys. I was going to do a, um, a palette review today of the Lorac, the new Makeup 3 palette. But I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I just wore this perfume. I was going to do this review next week. And I was just like, this smells so nice. I really want to talk about this. So that is why I'm bringing you another <laughs> fragrance review today. Again, this is beautiful. I love it. This is good for men or women. It's truly unisex. It doesn't, taste, it doesn't smell like candy. It's not overtly floral where it's going to offend people who don't like floral fragrances. Really, the wood and the leather and amber and this just elevates the iris. It's just gorgeous. Um, and I just loved it so much I wanted to talk about it again. I wish it lasted longer. I wish it lasted longer. I'm so sad about that. Anyway, yeah, if you like fragrance reviews, um, give this video a thumbs up. It lets me to know to continue doing fragrance reviews. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And if my eye looks a little weird, I have a lazy eye that kind of like goes down, which is one of the reasons why I have to wear glasses. And I've been working so much on glasses, which is me just like concentrating on like glasses that this eye just goes doink and you know so if you if for the next few weeks I have a little bit of a lazy eye I'm sorry but if you don't mind that remember to subscribe in any case thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time